You guys ready? Yeah. It's not many of you, so we're gonna skip the cards today. And uh, but I would still like to see hands. Okay. All right. So first, we gotta find total resistance of this thing. Does anybody see a pair of resistors we could combine? Yeah. What do you see? Nine pi with fourteen and one, two, one, and six. Shh, one pair. So wait, wait, wait. All three of these? Well, you know, like the nine and the five. Okay, the nine and the five. Let's, yeah. let's do the nine and the five. If we combine those, what do we get? Seven. Yeah. Seven. Okay. And then, then what else can we combine? The two and the one. The two and the one. That's the series. So what do we got? Three. All right. Now what can we do? Albert? You could combine the 14s. The 14s. Good idea. 14s. And then what do we got? 7. Seven. Seven. All right. What else can we do? 3 and the 6. 3 and the 6. 3 and the 6. Three and the six. Which would be 2, right? Which it one? would be 2. Yeah. Because we're going to do uh, a 1 over 3 plus 1 over 6. Oh my goodness, having trouble today. Okay, so we get 6 over 3, which is 2. So that's. Is the total 16? The total is 16. So um, once we've done that, we've got, we basically have just a big old series. And then you can add the 2 and the 3. Yes, in fact, we can add them all at this point because we've got one path from the battery around. You go through a four, the seven, the three, the two. So there, it's all one big series now, and we could just uh, we could just add them up if we want to. And then we 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 are going to get sixteen. So four plus seven plus three plus two. So do we cross out like nine and five? Well, the nine and the five became fourteen together. Okay, so we found total resistance. What do we what do we do with it? Find total current. Yeah, let's find the total current. So, what's the equation for that? V divided by R. Okay. What is the total voltage for this circuit? Nice. Six. No one's raising their hand except for Albert back there. Oops. Yeah, I'm Why'd you blow an admin? To dry it so that when I erase it, it doesn't just smear. Oh, I did. Yeah. Um, okay, what is that? Six. Thank you for raising your hand. Okay, so the total current is six. That means the current near the battery is six. Here and here. Okay. Um, what's the current through the 4 ohm resistor? Six. Yeah, that's six amps. I mean, there's nowhere else for it to go, so it's just going to plow right through there and keep going. So there's six there's six amps through that uh, four ohm resistor. Okay. What about when the six amps gets to right there? Thanks for raising your hand, Brittany. Is it three? It is. It's gonna split up into three and three because the two can somebody let them in? Thank you. The two branches have the same overall resistance, 14 and 14. So the current will split up evenly. Oh, thank you. I got cards. These are the cards he cat made last week. All right, um, so three amps through the nine. Five and 14. The five and the 14. We're going to fill those in. OK. What happens here? They go combine. back to six. That's right. Combine, back to six. So how much through the three ohm? Six. Good. So we yeah. got Six through there. Okay. What about when we get to here? Uh, yeah. two. Will it split into four and two? It will split into four and two. How do you know that? Because one's six and the other one's three. So, like, so one has to get more than the other? One does have to get more than the other. But how do we know that it's four and two? Albert? And, um, because, like, one's like half. Of what the other one is. Okay. So it gets double. Okay. Double what? Amps. 
Okay, so, so one of them is half the resistance of the other one. Yeah. So it gets twice the current. That's what I said. Well, you didn't use pronoun. You used pronouns instead of nouns. Well, so no, you current. One gets current and one yeah. gets half. There is a mathematical way to find this too, but, but he's right. Two's going to go this way. Four is going to go this way. Right that way. Because this side has half as much resistance. Okay. So it'll get twice as much current. Okay? Um, that's a way to solve these using like proportions and stuff. And it's that's a great way to do it. But you can also do like the brute force way, which is to do the the total voltage of one path. We're gonna do that one to confirm that this is true. Okay? To do that though, we need to find these first. So how how do we find voltage? Michael? Isn't it harder time than that? Yes, it is. So, what's the voltage for this one? 24. 24. And that one? 27. Good. And, and this one? 53. And this one? 42. And this one? 18. Okay, so, the path thing is when you, what color should I use? Green, how do I use green yet? You pick a path, I'm gonna pick this one. This is the easiest one. And when you travel that path, you need to take a total voltage drop of 96. So, if I add up all the voltage drops, I need them to equal 96. So 96 is gonna equal, well, how much does it drop when I cross that one? Drop six. Twenty-four. Twenty-four. Plus, how much does it drop when it crosses that one? Forty-two. Forty-two. Plus, how much does it drop when it crosses this one? Eighteen. Plus, and then we don't know what the voltage drop of that is, so I'm just going to leave it as an X. Okay. And then we solve for X. So then that's eighty-two. Oh, see what happens when I don't blow on it? So what is the voltage drop? 12. So the voltage drop across that resistor must be 12. I'm going to go fill it in over here. Across the 6 ohm resistor, the voltage drop is 12. Which means the current through it must have been 2. That's how we know that it was 2 going this way, because I know that there has to be two going through this 6 ohm resistor. Does that kind of make sense? Yeah. And therefore, since 6 amps came into that junction, 2 went to the right, 4 must have gone to the left. That, get it? Yeah. yeah? But Albert's method is also very, very good. It just takes a little more brain, like, in your head power. And uh, you can probably get really good at that with practice. But we've only been doing this for, what, three days? Wait, well, what did he say? He, he said the fact that this one has twice the resistance of that branch means I'm going to get half the amount of current. So I have to pick numbers where one number is half of the other number, but they add up to six. Oh, okay. just, that can be tough if they don't come out nicely, if they were like freaky fractions. Mm -hmm. Just because I have to finish it, or I will go crazy. Um, most of the time I ask you to do power as well. How do we do that? Yeah? I times B. I times B. Um, I'm not going to do that right now because it's just, I mean, you guys can do that really easily. Timing. If you are a senior, I'm going to give you a final tomorrow, and it'll be due next Friday. Anyway, everybody else, I'm going to give you your final tomorrow too, but yours will be due on the day we have finals. However, we also have a test. One more test over this stuff. When? Next week? Probably Wednesday. Yeah.